Hey, 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 YouTube. Thank you for checking out the channel. So we are back today with another video. We're going to be getting some parts installed on the O3 Banshee. We're going to be taking it close to back to stock to where it is. But if you enjoy this kind of content, hit that like button and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Share these videos. Like these videos. A lot of people tell me that they like this stuff whenever we're talking as far as Messenger. However, my numbers should be a little bit higher than what they are, according to people. So it ain't going to hurt you anything to hit that like button and subscribe. So let's jump right into this machine and we'll get going. So in the last video, you all did see that I had the frame powder coated. When I say had, I did it. I powder coated the frame. It is an alien silver. I really like this silver for some reason. It really looks good. Nice shine to it. Nice metallic look to it. Lays on there super freaking well. I mean, I really, really, really like it. But we went ahead and put our motor mounts on the bottom. The parts that are going to be going on this machine are going to be satin black, so we're not going to go with the high gloss stuff. I laid out, as you see, some hardware here. We have the motor mounting kit and everything, and I have over there the motor mounts. So we're going to get all that installed. So we're going to get that on there and get it rolling. Motor's going to go in. The exhaust is going to go in in this video. I might try to get it down to a roller. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to get it because that is going to take me a good bit of time because I have other parts that I got to get powdered and I have to get done. So get the motor in there. I just want less stuff laying around. So it's not going to be a kind of a complete layout. But as I get these parts done, they're going to go over there and I keep them covered up with a towel so they don't look all crazy and they don't get all filthy. You get these parts looking brand new after you powder them and you don't want to look like trash shortly after. But this is going to be the motor that my son built. It's pictures right here, a couple little ones. We did a really good job on it. It looks absolutely wonderful. It is the stock bore. It has aftermarket cylinders, but it is a, I think it's a hot rods crank. I've done three of them at a, at simultaneously, so I kind of going to get mixed up. The other one that we did was the one that you see here in the 05. It looks really, really good. It is a full stock machine, stock head and all that. But as you saw, the other one had the cool head on it. Stock cylinders, new powder coated um, clutch side cover. We also vapor blasted the cases. We vapor blasted the cases on both of these motors. The third one we have is the 421 with the Assassin's kit that I have on here. It is a 48 millimeter with a plus four stroke. Sorry, it is a 68 millimeter with a plus four stroke. I powder coated the cases black, the cool head top black, left the silver in the middle. I also put a mod quad clutch cover on the side, repowder coated the sides um, yellow as far as in the same thing with the cylinders. Then I put the tuning forks on there and a new window and it looks absolutely wonderful currently as it sits. It's inside of the Kobe right now with the CPI pipes. But we're gonna go ahead and get this stock motor in here and get it rolling. I like to throw a towel in so I don't beat it up too much. I'm trying to attempt to be able to get these in there without having to take all of the spark plugs and things out and disassemble it at all. But who knows? I might end up having to. Shots, yeah, cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. So we have our new bolts. We're going to take the long one, get it through from this side. Reason being, it won't go through straight that way. So it's gonna come across. I did go ahead and coat it with some anti-seize. Everything I put on these things, I try to anti-seize because it's just a pain whenever you're trying to take it apart and you don't have it on there. Hence the reason I had to cut the bolts off the front to get it on. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see. And I am playing games, I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain. Uh. Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh, popping off and risking things, gonna make up a name, I just wanna... Yeah. yeah, so like right now, only thing we did was just officially place the bolt in, 
not going to tighten it down or anything. Sometimes I find the motor being a little bit loose. Helps the exhaust and things line up better. I know the CPI pipes were a brute to get in there. They were crazy tight to get in. But I'm not really sure how these T6s are going to be. But we went ahead and put the bolt in there. and you just But you just need to make sure that these little bumpers here that go back in there on the sides are there. So there's one that goes on this side of the motor right here and on the opposite adjacent side up front. So the back right is where I put mine and the left front. So the back right one is here already. We're gonna put this one on the left front, get the front motor mounts in there, get the towel out, and we should be having the motor pretty stabilized in there. All right, so this motor mount here goes on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and feed our long bolt through. Once it's coming out the other side, close to it, we'll get our other motor mount, put it in there like so, push the bolt all the way through, okay? We have our three, our four lock bolts that go into these different areas here that's going to hold it in place. So once I lift it up, Got one. So now we're officially in there. So we're gonna go ahead and snug this stuff up, get it close, and then we'll get the exhaust mounted and then tighten the rest of this down. All right, after that long talk about what we gotta do, I didn't put my freaking bump in there. So as you see, this is where it fits. It fits in there on that side. What I'm gonna have to do is take these two bolts back out, which are both hand tightened in there. So it's no big deal. I just didn't really think about it at the time when I was doing it because, I mean, the motor gets heavy and you're trying to hold it up to get that bracket that bolts through everything so we're going to take these off all right so here is the cerakoted t6 looking really freaking good just dirty dusty and it looks great compared to how it would have looked if i would have not you know tried to cover these things up but I am putting some grease inside there on that seal, just so that seal slides over the front of the motor easy. If you've ever done these kind of things, you know that they're a challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and get this side on, get a couple bolts pre-anti-seized so that they will go into the motor fine and we don't have to worry about trying to do that once we get it all mounted. But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain. I just wanna be greatness. All right, so we have our pipes on, looking really good. They're looking really good. Just got some handprints and some dirt and stuff on them. But I have to take a look to see how my mounts go on here. So I'm wanting to say they go on like this or like this. One, I mean, obviously they go on here one of these ways because there's four of them that came with it. So I just need to figure out how these are gonna hang off of here and how they're gonna go and get the silencers mounted up, but I have to polish them or do something with them before I get them on here. But overall, <clears throat> we got that goal accomplished for right now. So off to the net. I went ahead and put these headlights on. They're just some aftermarket, more cheap headlights that I had bought. And they're gonna just get new plugs on them and they're gonna tie into the rest of the harness. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wiring harness on there too because that seems to be a little pain in the butt sometimes once you get too far in with the electronics, like putting the coil up and all that plugged in, everything run up. We're gonna go ahead and get that done here in a bit. You know what, we might as well just go ahead and get this thing into a roller by the end of this video. 
All right, so we are back in here in the shop. What have we gotten done to the O3 today? Basically, I've got the arms and stuff taken apart. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna to take out the Zerks and get the bushings and all those, the inserts out. Take the caps off, work on getting those blasted and everything so we can get those cleaned up. <sighs> Over here, we look the same. We haven't really done any changes to it. Looks good. Swing arm area still needs to be broken down and I do have a good bit of stuff left to do there. But I do have some progress going. So don't think that I haven't done nothing. I'm gonna flip the camera over. We're gonna take a look at what I have done and then move on to the next step. All right, so we did go ahead and get some parts done. So we have my steering knuckles have been blasted and powder coated. So they're with a beautiful coat of jack black on there, which is kind of like a satin black, not flat, flat, but just satin on both sides. That looks real good. We have our brake lines and hoses. we got the ends vapor blasted, but got everything else cleaned up real good. So that looks good. We have our front master cylinder. It is already done, but we went ahead and put the lever on there. Got it blasted as well. Our rear master cylinder, our rear caliper is, as it sits right here, been rebuilt, new brakes on it. We also have the, bra the brackets been powder coated. And we have the red brake block off because we're not going to be running that on there. The front calipers have been, a little bit of dirt on there, but these have been vapor blasted and got the pads in there. And as you see, same thing over here, vapor blasted, looking real good. Rear master cylinder looks real good got it cleaned up hoses and everything got it to where it should be it'll press in yeah so it does its thing you know so we're good on that end so those parts are the ones that we've gotten done we still we have a whole bunch of hardware which is no big deal but we're narrowing it down like i said i still need to get these done here and get the handlebars done so the bars are going to get polished aluminum. These covers, polished aluminum. And the axle, polished aluminum. The hubs here are going to, in the swing arm and all that, that's going to go back to the Alien Silver. And the front hubs, I'm thinking, I'm not really sure which route I'm going to go with those. I might just take it all apart and powder coat these as well, or I can put them in a vapor blaster, either or. I might just powder coat them. Since I'm gonna be having the Alien Silver out doing other parts, kinda of just get all the hubs done at once and get them put back together. But we're getting, that's what we're doing. We're getting close to getting some things done. Hopefully in the next couple days, I'll have all this here done, but you all won't notice it. And that's currently where we're at for today. The process has been a little bit slower because I've been doing a couple other things, trying to get other things cleaned up, other things moved around. I have been working on the Kobe, which I had a little bit of issues with top end, so I'm going to get the top end sent out. So, you know, things like that is just kind of holding me up just slightly. So what I'm having to do is get that top end sent out because it can take weeks to months to get this thing fixed. You know, whenever you buy a top end and you go get it ported, it can be six weeks, eight weeks out, you know, so... We're going to go ahead and get that shipped out. So that's kind of just taking up a couple days, just messing around with it. So let's jump into the next part, get these arms blasted, taken apart, and get that moving. All right, everyone. So we have the Banshee sitting right here. We're going to go ahead and get a few more parts on it. I'm be advertising for Dr. Pepper. I mean, I love that. Strawberries and cream. But got the Banshee sitting here as one of the things that I didn't have on. I do have the linkage down here in the rear shock just run through. I didn't really have to do any powder into the rear shock. It did come really, really clean and look really good. I did take the spring off of it, ran it through the vapor blaster, so I think it looks really good. But we're going to get up close of it. Then we're going to get the swing arm on here, get that all tightened down. I don't know if I'm going to put the carrier on. Sometimes the carrier is easy to get on when you get the whole axle assembled, so we still have to get the axle powder coated. But my plan is just to get that on, just to put some weight in the back, and then I can start getting the front arms and things like that put on. All right, so as I stated, this was just basically sitting on there. So we're going to take it down in there here. Shock and everything, the body cleaned up really, really good. And I did put anti-seize on my bolts that are down here. And this is the OEM greasable Zerk. 
but rest of it is a bolt kit. None of it has any play. Everything is nice and tight. I did have to destroy my axle bolt or my swing arm bolt. So what I'm going to be using for just this right now, just as a placeholder, is the Raptor 700 one that I have. It fits through there. We're not going to put a nut on it or anything. Once we get the new one in the mail that's already been shipped, we're just going to replace that with this one. But I just want to get that rear end on. So, so we have our swing arm. It has been powdered. The same color as everything else, the Alien Silver. We've got a new roller there. We've got our end caps Cerakoted with the Glacier Silver. And we're just going to... we got a new... The bearings in there are good and greased up. We also have the... Bushing going through there. That's about all we got to do right there and just get the bolt through. So, here we are. I do just have it laying there and not hooked up. Reason being is because my wishbone part here, I am going to powder coat it red. And this is just a nut. So if any of y'all were ever wondering, the nut is a bit longer and it's different with how it sits in there. But basically right here is just to give us some weight for the rear end. We're going to go ahead and get the steering stem in and the front arms and all that stuff. We still need to get the shocks powder coated. The shocks are down here on the ground. I need to see how good I can get those cleaned up. But we're going to go ahead and start getting this front end on and get it moving along. So I am going to just do the time lapse for you all to get one side of this done and that steering stem in. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life because I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm going to stay there till I feel like I'm winning. Oh, and this is just the beginning. I need a big change, help me feel like living. I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all. And we all got dreams. We all want things. What you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe you can do anything? But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? All right, yeah, yeah. So we get in the front on there. I threw the ugly dummy shock on just for right now. But man, look how clean that front end looks. So we have the powder coated black, we have the powder coated alien. These right here nuts are Cerakoted, so they'll be really good. The boots have been cleaned up and the ball joints were re-greased. We're just gonna go ahead and tighten down the hardware for the most part, go around, get everything kind of secured up. And uh, like I said, at some point, something's in the oven, but at some point what we're gonna be doing is getting the shocks that are back here behind me wherever they are we're gonna be getting those repowder coated and they're gonna go on here but for right now i just wanted to be able to get this thing closer to being together i mean it's crazy how fast they come together once you get moving but i'm gonna go ahead and get whatever this is out of the oven and once we come back this other side will be installed well time has flown i did get pretty carried away with the banshee so as you see there's a front tire on so we're going to go over everything that we did get some up close shots of everything and explain it basically and um get this one and just pick up where we left off so last we were here i decided that i was going to go ahead and take some parts out of the oven i did take those parts out of the oven however i kind of just like i said got carried away doing a few other things i powder coated the front bumper insert the shocks tie rods all red the red that i decided to use was here it's a wonderful red. I really like it. A static red. 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Let your part get up to temperature. And then I cleared it. Uh, hold on. This one is a high gloss, so it doesn't require clear. So I did cook these out. It took a little bit of time because I put multiple, two layers on everything. And we're just going to go ahead and take a look at it. All right. So in here, last you all saw was the hubs being installed or the knuckles on there but i did go ahead and install my hubs my hubs are also powder coated with the illusion silver and as you see it's slightly different than the polished aluminum 
Here, I'm gonna get different lug nuts. I really don't like these designs that kind of came with these bolt kits, but I did vapor blast my nut there, and I got new bearings, everything in there. Everything spins as it should, nice and well. We went ahead and installed the calipers on there, which I vapor blasted as well, so they look absolutely wonderful. And underneath here, vapor blasted this hardware and ran our lines up that have been cleaned. Vapor blasted our ends and our clips. Just haven't ran up to here yet. I still have to put my bushing and my retainer there. That's one of the parts that just came out of the oven, but it's the same thing I did on the other side. And as you see, it spins perfectly as well. As perfect as well. This is what the red looks like. This is the insert that came out of the front bumper. Front bumper is the Alien Silver as well with that a static red. These were the stock shocks I did take them out, clean them up the best as I could, use the polish wheel on them. I didn't try to polish them, I just wanted to clean them up to just get them looking better than what they were and put all that back together. So that's what we got there. We do have our brake lever installed up here and our throttle as well as our clutch lever. The red little ends on the grips is always a touch that I like to do. So this is what the cockpit looks like. I have to do that bracket. I can't find any, so it's a simple make. I have another one that I'm gonna trace out and cut out. My exhaust is all on there. I did put these hangers there. We have these vapor blasted as well. My cans I took off, put into my blaster, blasted those, vapor blasted these, and I have one already pretty much there ready. Uh, my clips are Cerakoted silver, but I am going to put the other one in, and here it is. I repacked them, so I just want everyone to see that that's going to be done as well. The wishbone part, the ends have been Cerakoted here and that's all installed with the bushing so everything is nice and tight no wiggle no wobble i mean we're looking really freaking good and i'm really excited where we're going along with this one i'm going to put in my last small order small order is going to be i'm going to put the t6 or the um tr stickers back here on the back that come from Timmy. I am debating on whether or not I'm going to switch this out to a different one. I have another one over there that's a little bit more low profile, but I'm probably not. But yeah, we're moving along. Let's go ahead and get this exhaust tip packed and yeah, freaking making sure we're all good over there. Hey, Nala. And we're going to just get the exhaust tightened up and we should be good there. So we have the exhaust cans repacked. Looking great, like I said, with the Cerakoted clips there, looking wonderful. We have everything tightened down and secure. So these brackets right here basically just soak up some of the vibration. There's one there, as well as there's one here. There's one here. Got the front end on and tightened down. Everything is tightened and secure. We got that bracket here i don't really like that bracket but it is what it is it works this i want you got to use this bolt here if you want to be able to use the oem top stay for the radiator so right now what we're going to do is go ahead and just get the radiator installed i'm going to be blasting the uh, axles when i say axles i have two of them one for my banshee and one for my wrap i'm going to go ahead and get them both blasted and get them powder coated black and get those in the oven because that's going to take a little bit of time to cure to, to cure because it's so thick and to get that up to you know 375 degrees takes time so we're gonna go ahead and get the blasting done first and then we're gonna get that radiator stuff on See how it wrapped around the back already? Love it. But before we get that radiator all installed and everything on there, I did forget that I need to go ahead and put the brake line on. So we got a brake line here. It's gonna run, this side is gonna run back in behind. Here. 
Sound like our axles are done cooking, but all right. The oven to turn off. So we got our bolt for our distribution block. Already anti C, so we're good there. No good. We're gonna get all that tightened down. Get these connectors down in here. Get the brakes bled and be good to go. To play, to claim a brand new name, oh, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done, but what's the point of living if you ain't having fun, I guess I'll try this, try that, my miss, gotta find what I'm good at, I guess I'll look here, look there, over where am I all right, so I went over there and cut the fan off so you all can hear me, but we got our brakes bled here, so this is my lever spinning, and my tire going... Let me get my tire spinning. Boop. Same thing over here. Tire spinning. Boop. So we're good there. Brakes work great. All that's in there. Doesn't look like there's anything leaking or anything that's down there. So we're good. Radiator time to go on. Run our lines. Put our clamps on. Then we'll be officially finished with the front. I'm thinking. Besides running the wiring harness and all that. Yeah, we should be good with the front. Let's go and get that radiator on. So I got my little rubber bumpers in here. These are just aftermarket ones because I could not find any OEMs and I didn't have any. But they're all gonna do this, but they're all do the same thing. So we'll get our first top one up in there. Then our lower two. Now I did have to put these brackets on. These brackets weren't here. These are just the ones that hold the plastic, but I did powder coat them. And they are the same color as all the other black. They are the, whew, I think it's jack black. So it's kind of like a satin color. So it's, it's not super glossy, which this machine, I didn't do all the gloss on it. I just wanted it to look nice and clean. So we definitely got what we asked for on it. So get it installed, take a look at it, it'd be good. All right, so here we are. We have the radiator and everything on there looking nice and freaking clean. Flip the camera around and of course, let you all see it up close. All right, so we ran the lines a minute ago and we got our brakes all good and working as I stated. We also have our radiator installed with the GPI red hoses. So we got red hoses and new clamps coming down here. Water pump side going up to the bottom. And then we have the black hose going over to here. I do have my resi bottle coming in the mail. So we'll get that hooked up as well and get that back here. But we've also got the rear end on for a little bit. So in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and put the hubs on and get the rear wheels on so this thing could be sitting on the ground. Man. Don't this thing freaking look good? I mean, it's dusty. Uh, I don't know, I might have to take it outside, but let's flip the camera around, take a look at what we have right here, right now, because I'm excited about it. So the video has come a long freaking way. And this isn't nothing but blue dust from powder coat. It's kind of raining outside now. I think I might cover my carburetors up, take it outside, spray it off real quick, and then come back in. But man, the red sprocket and the brake, that's a nice touch in the rear. I mean, everything looks freaking great down there. I'm taking pictures as we go along. I have to get the bolts for here. Maybe um, I don't think I have to retap those threads, but that's a possibility. Where everything's looking good. As I stated, I'm going to go in tonight and get the stickers ordered for right here. We're good. And the exhaust is nice and secure. I like to put a screw in there just so this doesn't rust later on. Every bolt that you see on here does have anti-seize on it, except for the swing arm bolt because I'm waiting on the new swing arm to come in. Basically, the only thing I feel like I need to do is get the wiring harness on, the electric. Then once the electric's on, I'll be able to get this thing kicked. I got to rewire the headlights in so that they're plug and play, make sure the tail light's good, but huh, freaking crazy look, right? 
Mm -mm -mm. So I stated in this video we were going to get into a roller and that's what we've accomplished. So I'm not going to really go any further in with this one. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. This is the 03 Donor Banshee that I got. I got this Donor Banshee back in the day. Well, not too far ago. I say back in the day. But I got this Donor, ba this donor Banshee back when I wanted the plastics for the 05. Turned out I decided to go ahead and buy brand new plastics for the 05. And of course, I reused the tank cover. That was the biggest thing. But with these plastics here, I'm going to clean them up real good. These are the ones that came on it. Put the red on it, make this back into the 03 that it should have been. And I think this thing looks absolutely amazing. But if you're interested in this kind of content, hit that like button and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so that the next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. You can check out the 93 that we did over here. And also check on the 95 that we were working on here. Playlist is kind of short, but it's going to keep on growing. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. Nice. I don't want to go to work, because my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, because I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy.